We all have a morning routine. Mine involves the refrigerator. Every morning I make my way to the refrigerator, first of all, to get some water. I've gotten in the habit of uh, drinking a glass full of water every morning just to get my system running. But I also make my way back to the refrigerator to get the coffee creamer. That may be more important than the water. Um, I love coffee and I love the creamer. Every morning when I go to the refrigerator, I'm, I look at several things that we have on our refrigerator. Uh, most, some of them are scripture, most of them are. Um, I have Mark 9, some things only happen because of prayer and fasting. Uh, we have Psalm 91, 1 and 2 done as well. Uh, we have a little magnet that says choose love, just several things. But one of them is just small, but it's important. It's a little magnet that's probably four inches by three inches. It's not huge like the other things. And it says this, pray hardest when it's hardest to pray. Now I see that every morning. I see the rest of everything that's on that refrigerator every morning. But do I really see them? Do I really know them? Well, I would say that 11 months into this pandemic, it's getting hard to pray about this virus. We've been praying for people who needed prayer. Y'all have prayed for me when I needed it. We've prayed about this virus, that it, would, that it would be eradicated. We've prayed for a lot of things related to the virus. And now 11 months in, I would say it might be hard to pray. You might not know how to pray. But I want to tell you that like this magnet, I learned over this past month that we better be ready to pray when it's hardest to pray. And we better all, as the body of Christ, uh, be willing to, for the sake of people we love, uh, maybe family members, friends, and for our country in general, for every country and, and people dealing with this virus, we need to be ready to pray when it's hardest to pray. Uh, Jesus experienced that. Paul experienced that. Many characters in the Bible experienced that. So I want to just invite you. Uh, don't give up now. Don't let our, our guard down. We need to be praying now more than ever because it is hard. I want to say to you that I learned firsthand um, what I saw on that refrigerator every day, what it means to pray when it's hardest to pray. And I just want to encourage you as the body of Christ, as people of faith, as we continue this journey in these days that are, are different, they're difficult, that we continue to pray, that we continue to approach the throne of grace, seeking mercy and finding that grace that God will protect us, that He will be our refuge, and that He will see us through this time. And I just encourage you, to be people of prayer and to pray when it's hardest to pray. Pray hardest when it's hardest to pray. I also want to remind you that at Jasper First United Methodist Church, we're going to resume in-person worship this Sunday, February 7th, to go along with our online experience of worship. We'll be also celebrating Holy Communion. So if you're with us online, I just invite you to have uh, your communion elements, bread and juice ready as we will conclude each service, 8, 30, and 11, by celebrating Holy Communion. I'm going to be sharing some of my testimony of the last month, a few things that I've learned. I'm not going to share everything I've learned because I'm still processing some of them, but I'm going to just um, share a little bit about what I think the Lord has taught me um, over this past month, and then over time, um, I'll be able to share more about what I think God has taught me. But this Sunday, as I gather back with my congregation for the first time in over a month, I'm looking forward to being in person with those that um, are ready to come, feel comfortable coming um, to, to worship in the sanctuary, and then joining all of you uh, that are watching online, wherever that might be. So I invite you to worship with us. As, as we need to continue to pray, we need to continue to worship. We need to remember to stay connected to God in all things. So I invite you in as I remind you um, that we will be resuming in-person worship. So I hope to see you Sunday. Let's pray together. Let's, let's be in worship together. 
We resume in-person worship this Sunday, and I hope to see you either in person or online.